Hey everyone, in today's video I'll be going over a samurai themed build, but it has a little bit of a twist to it being magic focused. Don't forget to subscribe for more weekly content. I also have a discord setup for anyone looking for more people to play with. The link to that and other Elden Ring related videos will be in the description down below. Alright guys, let's dive into the build starting off with the weapons you'll need. So we're going to have two different kinds of katanas that work amazingly well in different situations. The first one being the Moon Veil. And yes, I know, oh my god, the Moon Veil, that weapon has one attack and that's it. But I actually made it really viable all around, so you don't just depend on its special attack to do damage. The Moon Veil can reach a total of 867 attack power, so it's light attack, heavy attack, running attack, pretty much all of its basic attacks are going to do really good damage. And obviously you have the special attack on this thing that does a lot of damage by itself. But I like to make it even more powerful just because I can. If you use the Shard of Alexander with this, it'll increase all special attacks damage by an extra 15%. And I know a lot of people are going to love using this move because it is really strong and very, very satisfying when you land it. So using the carry and filigree crest is going to help out a lot with this lowering the cost of special attacks by 25%. On top of this, both of these talismans also benefit our other katana as well. The second katana being the Uchi katana, it's pretty much the same thing as the Moon Veil, but it does a bit less damage with basic attacks, but the Ash of War on this thing though, the Carrion Grandeur, can do a lot more damage though. Like, this thing is really good for taking down bosses, and it guard breaks them pretty quickly as well. So you can score a critical hit or charge up for a second attack completely free. And there's another talisman that takes this to that level of damage, Godfrey's Icon. It increases the damage of all charged attacks by 15% because this Ash of War has three different stages of charged attacks. You got the quick one which does similar damage to the Moon Veil so it's not really worth to use the first stage. The second stage, which takes a bit more time to charge up, but also deals a bit more damage than the Moon Veil, so I would say it's worth it if you're about to get attacked, just let it rip a little bit early. And the last stage, which takes quite a bit of time to charge up, but when you land this, you're taking chunks of health away, and it can break their stance pretty easily. Definitely the biggest bang for your buck. The one downside to this is the range on it is kind of short, so you'll want to have either a teammate or a summoning to distract the boss for you to get a clean hit in. And in my experience with this, I've had little to no problems at all with it, it just works out perfectly. So you got two katanas, one for dealing with weaker to strong enemies, the Moon Veil, and the Uchi katana for dealing with bosses. I mean, you can also use the Moon Veil on bosses to take advantage of its ranged attacks, but the Uchi Katana special is so much more fun and satisfying to use. But it's really up to you though. Another thing that's really up to you is if you want to do what I'm pretty sure Samurais do is they only have one Katana in their hand at a time. Like switching back and forth between the two is really smooth and both of them do pretty good basic attack damage. So you won't feel like one is absolutely better than the other. Or, you know, you can have both of them in your hands to pump out more damage like an absolute machine, but you lose that cool swift samurai look. Again, up to you, but with this build, I'm taking looks over functionality a bit with how clean it looks all together. And for the last talisman that benefits this build in almost every way possible, the Magic Scorpion Charm. Just increasing all of our magic damage by 12%, which is everything in this setup. And I almost forgot to mention is you'll want to use the magic variation on the Uchi Katana, even though I feel like it's a little bit obvious, but I still want to mention it for 100% clarity. Next up, we have the Flask of Wondrous Physic that's going to do wondrous things for us. The best two tiers to use with this is the Magic Shrouding tier, increasing all of our magic damage by an extra 20% for 3 minutes. Pretty handy. And the Intelligence Crystal Knot, which is going to increase our intelligence by 10 levels for 3 minutes, for some more damage as well, because all the weapons and our damage is going to be magic based which scales off of intelligence. Also, since these last for a pretty good amount of time, you don't need to save these for boss fights, even though that's when they would work best. You can just pop these whenever because there will usually be a bonfire before you get to the boss fight to refill it. So just be powered up for a majority of the time. Lastly, before I get into the stats required is the armor. 
I mainly went all out for the cosmetic looks to really capture the samurai look using the full set of the Reed's armor. This isn't the best in terms of functionality because you can go with the Ash of War Scarab that reduces the cost of special attacks but it doesn't match the look at all. And I'm pretty sure you could use the Spellblade's armor set to increase the damage of carrying Grandeur. Again, if you use this, you're not going to have the samurai vibe. Now let's dive into the minimum stats required. You'll need at least 12 strength, 18 dex, and 23 intelligence to use both of these katanas. Afterwards, I would recommend splitting your points between intelligence and dex to further increase your damage. I'm also going to put links in the description down below for all the gear I'm using, if you want more information on it and where you can find it all for yourself. That's everything for today's video. I'd also like to give a big thanks to the members of my channel for supporting me on my videos and the future ones to come. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.